Hello again and welcome to Last Time Studios. I hope you're well. Today I thought it would be interesting to have a look at a couple of items together which work really well together. So firstly what we're looking at today is a solid silver cedar tree cone. It's very beautiful. It's from Curiouser and Curiouser in Brighton. I believe it's an offshot of the Great Frog so it's officially at the moment, although it has changed names previously from what I can remember. It's called on the website the Great Frog Paterson or the Great Frog Patterson. Essentially I think it's one of the original founders who's continued to go on and make his own jewellery and split from the Great Frog as it is known now, to my understanding anyway. As you can see it's very beautifully detailed and very natural looking. They have cast it from an original cedar tree cone and on the website it actually refers to them finding the cone and obviously making several replications of it. I'll show you the page here on the website that talks about it. So the original cone was found on the cedar tree walk in a place called Taplow Court in Buckingham in England, which is apparently the home of some sort of Buddhist society. So if anyone knows anything about mathematics, I know very little, but I do know that it has the Fibonacci code within it, which makes, along with the story of how it was originally found, just makes the piece all the more interesting. The piece itself is surprisingly heavy and very, very solid. It comes with a hoop, which can fit a lot of thick chains through. So it's very versatile in the way it can be worn with several different chains. It's detailed beautifully and it looks to be a very, very good representation or replication of the cone that was found. And as you can see, there's a nice application of patina to bring out the highlights of the silver and the depths of the cone. The hall markings are on the hoop, which is connected at the top. However, it all does appear to be one solid piece. It appears to be cast all as one piece. The price of this is very good. If you're looking at the price of silver itself, it doesn't come anywhere near, but when you look at the workmanship and the longevity, if you were to buy one of these, it would last you a lifetime. So it's a fantastic piece. Separately looking at the clocks and colors chain, we've got a chain which is entitled Snake Bones. The chain is not overly thick, but it is very stylized. The way the links are put together are very nice. I've had this chain for a while now and I've used it in a variety of ways. It is very versatile and as well as it being something that you can hang several pieces of jewelry from because it's reasonably thin at the ends, it's also quite good as a bracelet. The one thing I would say is compared to a normal link chain, you'll notice that you can't entirely bend it round, but that doesn't negatively affect it in any way. It's still a great piece. It's just something to be aware of. It does have some restrictions because of the way the weave is put together. The clasp is very easy to manage. And as I say, it can be used with a variety of different pieces because it's thin at the ends or relatively thin. So it will fit most pendants, although not the smallest ones. The price for the snake bones is at the present time £135. As I always say about clocks and colours, is they do have several sales throughout the year. So keep an eye out for them. If you really want this, it might be worth waiting for because you'll probably get something like 20% off, which is a good chunk off the overall price. And you see standard silver necklaces going for less than this, but they are standard. They're boring. They all look the same. I don't like most of the standardised links that you'll get in a general jewellers so what i would say is it's versatile you can wear every day you can use it for a special occasion it's a really great piece of jewelry and yeah it's it's worth it clocks and colors offer a lifetime guarantee on the products and i do understand why they are very very strong i have had standard silver chains in the past which have let me down particularly on the clasp section they just fall apart sometimes then you've got to go somewhere get it repaired in my experience that is not going to happen with these so Highly recommended on that aspect. So I put these two together in a video because they complement each other excellently. What more can I say? Specifically, you can wear the chain as a bracelet. It works fantastic in combination with other bracelets too. It looks particularly good when it's sort of hanging there. If you're looking for size wise, it'll wrap around your wrist about three times comfortably. If you've got about an eight inch wrist at the end, which most people have, it's usually seven and a half, eight unless you're particularly large or large boned, you're looking at about that size. Women may be slightly smaller depending on the person, but it will fit. It's not gonna wrap around a fourth time. It's always gonna be pretty much a three wrap around. Although clocks and colors do offer two different options of sizes, 60 centimeter and 50 centimeter. I'd go for the larger one if I was you. The one shown in the picture on the screen is the larger one. It's good in terms of combination with some of the other necklaces, the other chains that they have. 
So I would highly recommend it as a combination piece as well. So overall, both great pieces, probably both made in a very different way. I only really cover great pieces, to be honest. If it's something I don't enjoy, I just won't cover it. So that's it. I'll let you have a look through a few more shots. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just one final thing before you go. We are doing a competition next and the video for that will be up shortly. It will be for a piece of custom made jewellery. So keep a look out for that, please. If there's anything I've missed and you'd like to know, just give me a shout in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as I possibly can. What I will do is I'll put a link for both of the pieces in the description. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you soon.